Guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the animated pet urn from Spirit Halloween. And this is going to be a review and unboxing. Let me go ahead and activate it. So, um, this is a really cool prop. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of its box, and you guys get to go with me. Yay! Um, I do apologize if this video is long. I don't think it will be because the lady at Spirit actually unboxed it for me. Um, just to put new batteries in there, so go ahead and take this out. And also, um, I forgot to do this until just now. Um, the packaging, I'm going to, um, sorry, this is all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and review the packaging. Um, at the front it says Spirit, and with their logo, Pet Urn, um, Try Me. The side it has a demonstration of the cat popping out of the urn. Lids open to, a re to reveal a skeletal surprise. Eyes light up, motion activated. Um, Pet Urn, Spirit. Spirit logo again, the same picture, a different picture down here. It says, you know, the same things right there. Scaredy cat hides and wait and waits for its next victim. Um, three AA batteries, um, for indoor use only, and then distribution information. The price, which is forty bucks, and um, yeah. Okay, so automatically out of the box. This is a really detailed prop. It looks like an actual urn if you look at it. It is, um, you can see it has like engravings there, it looks like a cat. Um, it, it says fluffy, it says lives are to be cherished, oh, oh beloved cat of mine, it seems such a pity that you only had nine. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it really is kind of interesting. No one's really going to pay attention to it, but it's a nice detail, it's kind of funny. Um, it does have a really nice base with that etched in area. Right down here is like the batteries, um, made in China. Um, the try me button is actually on the back, which is kind of interesting. So is the on and off button. Generally it's on the bottom. So that really is pretty interesting. Um, the top is really detailed. It kind of has a little bit of rust maybe. I don't know if that's what it is. And um, I'll go ahead and activate the prop. Uh, let's see. Am I actually on such a mode? Nope. I. Ah. Okay. So, really, what I what I want to show you a lot, and I for, apologize for that, is the cat skeleton. There you go. It's very detailed. It kind of has like a grayish color. The eyes, strobe, green. Um, it does have teeth. You can kind of see them right there. And it does not actually have arms or legs. It just pops up. So, um, sorry this review is short, so let's go ahead and rate it. Um, it does function as work as, um, it does function as advertised, so 5 out of 5. Detail, um, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 on that. Uh... Forgive me for this. It takes me a while to come up with these. Um, scare effect. It doesn't really have much of a scare. But however, it is a pretty big jump scare. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 there. And um, breaking rate. I do not think these things break that often. Unless like somebody opens up the lid and manually pulls it out. So I'm going to give that a 5 out of 5 stars. Or not, sorry. 5 out of 5 stars on the breaking rate. So all together, it is going to be a four and a half out of five stars. Um, it's just that it's not really too scary. Oh, and I still have it on. So it's a, yay. But it certainly does create a good jump scare.